Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with my next war recap video. And I'm happy to be here in One Hive Genesis, a great clan, kind of my next step as I move along the One Hive family. Uh, so very uh, great group of uh, clan members, and they've been very welcoming to me. Uh, taking a look at their last arranged war, and it was very close against North Awakens, um, and a lot of great attacks, obviously. Uh, so an arranged war, uh, both clans knew what they were getting into. I think it was all Town Hall 9s and 8s, as you can see, um, North Awakens got all the bottom ones, but towards the top they left a handful of them two-starred. Uh, as far as Genesis, they actually uh, got more three-stars, but they did have that one uh, one-star up top. So it just kind of goes to show, even in these kind of wars where you expect all three-stars on Town Hall 9s, uh, two-stars can be valuable sometimes if you're really late in the war and you just need to get that uh, two-star on the top guy. So uh, not sure what happened. The last attack looks like it was a three-star attempt, uh, but not can't you know speak for the war because I wasn't in it. I wasn't in the clan while it was going on, uh, but great job to both clans. And obviously One Hive Genesis just pulled it out, and we're going to look at some of their attacks, uh, starting with 007 on number four. Um, this kind of, you know, more old-fashioned attack, obviously using the new haste spells with it. And what I like about this is he sees that the queen and that one air defense are in pretty close proximity, so just goes ahead, uh, does the one golem, uh, cold-blooded attack, and gets the queen, the air defense, uh, CC troops. And it just so happens there's a ton of Teslas right in that one area, so he's going to get the benefit of taking those out. Uh, King will step up in a moment. And as soon as he's done with those wizards in the CC, he's going to get over and take out the queen, uh, take out a few of those Teslas. So getting a pretty big benefit for his uh, one golem kill squad plus the heroes. Uh, now coming in with the Lava Hounds, starting it off with two. And when you only bring one golem, you can bring four Lava Hounds. So with good deployment, you can wreck pretty much any base once uh, you get you know the queen, the air defense, plus a few benef benefits. A few benefits of the other buildings he got, which were the Teslas. Um, so Lava Hounds making their way to the second air defense, soaking up those traps. Uh, you can see still has a bunch of spells left over, three haste and a rage. Being patient on deploying those. I believe he'll drop the rage in just a second to keep those balloons moving. Uh, get some extra damage on that air defense and then the expo right over there. A uh, lot of balloons uh, kind of in that one area, kind of clumped up. So has to watch the wizard towers, but the last two go down. Queen takes one out and then a few balloons on that last wizard tower. So it doesn't matter a whole lot if they're clumped up at this point. Uh, you can see that last lava hound has not even busted and there's still all air defenses are down. So it's going to have that one lava hound uh, kind of run around for the rest of the attack without busting. But has a pretty solid spread in his cleanup troops. <clears throat> uh, brought a few wizards, which is always great to help out with cleanup, and then just has a ton of balloons left over. And you can three has the, see he has those three haste, uh, so really didn't even need many of the spell space he had. Uh, just going to go ahead and wreck this final archer tower. Those air skellies pop at the last second, and there's not really any lava hounds or anything, or any lava pops to deal with them, so he uses those haste to kind of keep his balloons uh, away from those skeleton traps. Kind of funny at the end here, uh, trying to, you know, speed them up so they can run away quicker. But the pups come over and help out in these last few buildings. Uh, we're going to go down. Nice attack to double 007 using that old-fashioned strategy to take out a base uh, that definitely called for it. So moving on to the next one, we have Thor taking out number four. And this here was also a nice attack. Um, you can see it's probably a cleanup attack because he knows there's that golem in the CC. He brings one witch, and that's a good way to counter that golem. Basically, you just plop down a few anchors and then the witch and the skellies will keep beating on that golem. The golem uh, doesn't attack fast enough to kill them. Uh, they spawn too quickly and then you also get the witch to help with cleanup uh, once that golem is destroyed. So pretty good benefit there. Um, you can see on the other side starting in with the golems, a few hogs just to take out those distracted defenses. A jump spell goes down. Uh, did a nice job making it so no defenses are going to flank his kill squad. Everything's right in front of them, focusing on those golems. Queen goes down real easily to the king. Uh, now he's going to go ahead and start the hogs in already. I kind of like it how he's doing that. Not letting the kill squad take too much damage. To, uh, sending the hogs in now. 
Uh, so they tank for each other, gets the benefit of everything happening at once. Uh, first set of double giant bombs goes off, but the pathing worked out pretty nicely and only lost a few hogs. Second uh, double giant bomb spot is triggered by his kill squad. Drops a nice heal where those Teslas all pop. Has a Tesla farm right there. But you can see a lot of spring traps. This guy had very good sp uh, spring trap placement. But drops the poison. That's going to slow, slow down the king and the skellies. And has just enough hogs left over. Uh, once they all get flung around by those spring traps. That they can take out the last few defenses. And they'll go ahead and get the three star. Go turn and take out the king. and just. Uh, or actually no the king goes back up. And he beats on that golem I think. Yeah so. Works out nicely there. Uh, plenty of troops for cleanup. Hogs making their way around. Has a few wizards, a few goblins, and the kill squad. Uh, you can see <clears throat> it's at pretty much full health. Has a golem, both heroes. Um, that's the benefit you get from sending in those hogs early as opposed to letting your kill squad take dam <coughs> damage. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, sorry about that. But nice attack to Thor getting the three star. Uh, we'll take a look at one more. I know I'm not doing a lot of coverage, uh, just because I'm trying to you know get back into the videos, hoping to make another one later today. So don't want to spread myself too thin. Uh, last one we're gonna look at is Trigoman taking out seven, and I I love the back end dragons. That's one of my favorite things to watch. So keep in mind how he's making a little funnel with his minions up there. Uh, that'll help later for when the dragons. Or sent in to take out the queen. Whereas on the other side, he's starting in with a three golem attack, uh, dropping some wall breakers to bust everything into that first compartment. Nice funnel made by the minions and the wizards. Uh, queen just sitting back there. Nice level th <coughs> level 30 queen can sit behind all three of those golems plus the king. So a lot of tanking out in front of her. Big investment in the queen. Drops the poison that'll uh, slow down the defensive troops. And make it a little bit easier to take them out. And here come the dragons. Uh, pay close attention. Uh, nice funnel. So they're going to go right in there. Aggro the queen. And then just a few puffs. And uh, that queen is done. The new level 4 dragons at Town Hall 9. Uh, make it very easy to take out the queen in certain bases. Just by sending two of them on in on the backside. With minions to create the funnel. Uh, now comes in with the hogs. Uh, just healing it up. Uh, where all those defenses are clumped up. I believe there's a double giant bomb set right there. By that archer tower. Maybe there's not. My, I've, I've watched a lot of their attacks. So I kind of. All kind of start to blend in together. So can't really tell. No double giant bombs there. Uh, they were kind of up on the other side of the base. But you can see the hogs. Plenty of heal spells for them. Sometimes you want to bring a rage. For the two dragons. But in this case. I uh, didn't need to. The dragons got the job done. And the great thing is. They kind of help uh, with cleanup. On those high HP buildings. Because they do a lot of damage. And obviously walls aren't an issue, so they're a pretty good cleanup troop. And uh, that one dragon's going to get over on that DE storage and help with that. Doesn't have a whole lot of cleanup though. Uh, just a few hogs up top, uh, the dragon, and then the queen. Maybe brought one too many golems, uh, just because didn't need all that tanking. I think some of the point defense was uh, lower level, so maybe could have brought a few more wizards, a witch, something like that. More dynamic troop. But anyway... Uh, it has just enough time to get the three star. We'll fast forward as the golems beat through the wall and the rest of these troops make their way around and meet up on that last uh, barracks. So nice attack to Trigger Man. That's all I'm going to do for the war recap uh, coverage. Hoping to have another video coming out soon. Want to keep uh, this channel as active as I can. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love seeing the arranged matchups and uh, it's, always, it's always fun to watch just because you see these high level bases. And you also get to see uh, your own bases tested. So I'll have more coverage from more arranged wars in the future in the One Hive Genesis clan as long as I'm here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, more to come. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.